Sam Hendler, Harris Williams did a survey of private business owners in the middle market, and 81% of them said they see M&A in the next three years. So that must make investment bankers like yourself pretty happy. A absolutely. We had the opportunity to work with Inc. 5000, which is always a great uh, source of very fantastic, exciting and innovative companies. We surveyed 700 private companies that have been part of the Inc. 5000, which are, again, 5,000 fastest growing companies in the United States. And to your point, 81% indicated that they expect to transact in some form or fashion in the next three years. And 52% anticipate selling their business over that period. So I guess a lot of the asset managers and the brokers are going to be pretty happy because they're going to see a lot of that windfall. Absolutely. Again, there's going to be a tremendous transfer of value that takes place over the next several years through M&A and tremendous wealth creation. And I think what's interesting about all of that is really a lot of these companies expect to uh, conduct some sort of transaction, but don't necessarily have a plan for how they're going to go through that process. And you know, with valuations where they are today, it's, it's a very interesting time to be evaluating. Can you talk about the valuations of companies out there, maybe which sectors are best if you're looking to sell? Sure. There's a, we're seeing, again, very strong activity across a number of sectors. But if you look at businesses in the healthcare IT sector, technology, healthcare, consumer, seeing tremendous uh, activity in all of those sectors and very, very high multiples driven by significant amounts of corporate capital, cash available, as well as tremendous uh, capital overhang and uh, private equity dollars to be invested. And you said 25% in the survey don't have a, an exit plan. So what should they be doing? You're sitting on a business, you know that valuations are going up. So what's their first step? Call an investment banker, get a value for my company? Is that the move? Yeah, I, I think there's, there's a lot of value to, to engaging early with an investment banker. It doesn't put your company up for sale. It doesn't uh, trigger anything. But I think there's a lot of benefit to these owners of these businesses to talk with people who have a broader perspective on the market and work, you know, look, we are ex always excited to work with, to talk to great, fast-growing companies. That's, that's energizing for, I know, for me and for my colleagues, and always happy to come in and provide, provide advice. We want to be long-term thought partners to businesses. But is there some kind of a lesson there that every year, just like you go to the doctor for a, an annual checkup, you should get your business valued by an investment banker? But won't this also scare a lot of your employees who think, well, they're going to sell? Yeah, look, there is, again, there's, there's no harm in talking to a banker. And look, our, our trade in stock is discretion, and we, we take that very, very seriously. And again, if, if you think about 75% of the, of the companies we surveyed have not sort of put a plan around an exit. And again, you know, if you sort of view that every battle is won before it's ever fought, there is, there is extraordinary benefit to talking to uh, people who are knowledgeable in your sector and about the M&A process. And then finally, we've been talking about getting out of your business, selling your business, going to the beach perhaps. What about uh, taking over another business? Can you talk about uh, acquiring someone else? Are you hearing a lot of that? When you speak to people, a absolutely, and you're seeing that both at the, at larger uh, at larger companies uh, that are again diversifying their business and trying to put their cap their cash to work in a in a more effective way, but also there's tremendous uh, M and A is both a strategic exit path as well as a strategic growth path, and I think people are be becoming increasingly aware of of the val the value of that. You're seeing the value, but one more thing: what about the pitfalls? Look. There, is, there are always pitfalls in any, in any strategic approach. The, the challenge can be if you don't execute M&A well, either as a buyer or a seller, and you don't know what you're, what you're getting yourself into, that's, that's where we see a lot of uh, deals fall down. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Sam. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching The Street.